This is a Glengoing Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, 12 year old. All right, Glengoing 12. And I'm just telling you, I don't like Scotch. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. This is not any sort of knock on Glengoing. So I'm getting to a place to where this doesn't offend me as much as it used to. You know what that means? It still tastes like vomit, though. It's not good. I'm just, I think it just means I'm getting used to I vomit. Think, I think it would taste better when you're looking at the mountains and the Deal. atmosphere. As of much Scotland. crap as I've given Scott, as much as much crap as I've given Scotch, the fact that I put out a video calling it Irish whiskey to troll people, I'm pretty sure if I go to Scotland, I'm going to get murdered. No, you're not. Pretty, they wouldn't know who I am. They but if they did, they are, would murder baby. me. They would murder me. They, they won't know who you are, and they'll like me. I, I attribute it to maltiness. I don't know for sure. It's a single malt. It could be something else other than maltiness. But it's just got a flavor I can't get over. And it's the whole category. It's not one particular brand. It is the entire category has that flavor that I just cannot get on board with. Here, take a sniff. Um, it's just not my thing. And I, I think it's the malt. Um, but then sometimes I have something like I had a, um, Hennessy the other day and I was like, that kind of tastes like an Irish whiskey. That's got a little maltiness to it. And then somebody's like, no, it doesn't. And I was like, okay, sorry about that. Um, hate that I offended you with your Hennessy. It's not the worst. It's not, and I'm sure this is a fine whiskey for somebody that likes those flavors. It's not the worst. But it's like, it's like you not liking sweet tea and somebody handing you Milo's and be like, well, do you like this one? No, I don't like sweet tea. 